Hi, this is Robert with Cruise Bike, and today we're going to be assembling a Vendetta V20. The same process applies to the Silvio S30 as well. The complete cruise bike ship in a crate where everything is protected and partially assembled. The wheels are separate, front and rear. Also in the box you'll find your carbon fiber seat and pads, some bags with hardware such as the handlebar clamps here, chain with a quick release, quick link should be there. Also included are the seat cushions and any accessories you may have purchased and the main headrest tube. You will need a handful of tools in order to assemble your complete cruise bike. The first tool you will need is a 4 millimeter Allen wrench. You will also need a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. You will also need an 8 millimeter open end wrench. Other tools like a 5 millimeter Allen are going to be needed for adjustment later. With everything unpacked and all the packing material removed, set the main frame aside and be ready to clip the zip ties holding the handlebar to the main frame and to the fork. Once you've cleared the zip ties, you want to position the handlebars. Take note, once you twist the handlebars over, they really only go one way, so it's pretty easy to get them positioned. Then we will take our handlebar clamps and our four millimeter head bolts and snug the handlebars down. Since we'll be doing a fit adjustment later, it's not necessary to completely tighten these. At any time when you tighten the handlebars, there should be an even gap on the top and the bottom of the handlebar clamps. That will prevent them from straining the bolt and prevent breakage. The easiest way to assemble a cruise bike is to first immobilize the front wheel. Locate the front wheel skewer. Take note that there are no springs on the skewer. They are not needed for the front wheel of a cruise bike. Once we have our skewer in hand, we're going to position the main frame over the front drive wheel and position it right down onto the wheel. Make sure the axles seated down into the dropouts of the front fork. Once that's seated, you can unwrap the rear derailleur and take note of the position of the rear derailleur hanger. The rear derailleur hanger only fits one way in between the chainstay and the fork. The concave side faces inside against the fork. We're going to lightly spread the chainstay and fit the derailleur hanger in between the two notches in the chainstay. Once the rear derailleur is in position, slide the skewer in from the non-drive side and tighten the threads just like you would a normal wheel.
If your Vendetta or Silvio is equipped with a GX style rear derailleur with a cage lock, we're going to pull this cage up. And we're going to depress that button and set the cage on the lock so it's open. This will make the chain installation easier later down the road. Now we will insert the headrest tube. We want to slide it right past the clamp that holds it in place noting that you will be doing adjustment later down the road once you start riding and we will snug it temporarily with a three millimeter allen these bolts do not have to be super tight you just tighten them enough to put pressure on the headrest tubes locate the two button head bolts and nylock nuts we're going to be installing the seat pan Note the seat has holes pre-drilled for bottles and also for adjustments for the headrest. The two included bolts go in the lower holes and we're going to use those bolts to line up the seat on the two wings on the main frame. The main portion of the seat is held on by Velcro and that's really all that's needed to keep the seat in place. It's very light. We will simply add the nylock nuts on the bottom to help keep the seat aligned and attached at the base. We'll use our three millimeter Allen and our eight millimeter open end wrench to snug these down. They do not have to be super tight, just tight enough to keep the seat in place. Locate the rear wheel skewer which is a standard 100 millimeter wheel skewer for a road bike. We're going to insert the skewer through the brake side if your wheels are equipped with disc brakes or with a disc brake hub. And then we are going to install the rear wheel. Locate your drive chain and quick release. Quick link should be included in a separate bag. For the chain routing, we're going to route it through the front derailleur and we're going to drape it over the small ring. With the chain draped over the small ring, we're going to take the drive side, we're going to route it over the smallest cog of the cassette and then we're going to go up and over the first wheel making sure we clear the chain guard there and we don't go over it and then we're going to go down under the chain guard and around the bottom wheel and here you can see how that chain should look through the derailleur install the quick link on the chain Install your pedals of choice on the cranks. Make sure you close the releases on the caliper brakes, front and rear. Use the included Velcro to install your seat cushions, either stock or Venizet, and your Vendetta is ready to ride. If you have any questions on the assembly process, please email us at support at cruisebike.com. Thank you.